question. Sure. What the fuck are we doing way out of here? Oh, perhaps the good doctor will be kind enough to tell us. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I want to say how much I appreciate this opportunity to join you. And what it's I for sure that you appreciate being here, doctor, but you must understand that we don't. We were taken off a well-deserved leave and sent into Neptune space. We are now three billion clicks from the nearest outpost. The last time USAC attempted a rescue this far past the outer reach, well, we lost both ships, so if you please. Right. Well, everything I'm about to tell you is considered code black by the NSA. USAC intercepted a radio transmission from a decaying orbit around Neptune. The source of this transmission has been identified as the event horizon. Yeah. Well, that's bullshit. Start. It's good for you to me off leave. Thank you so much. Right. 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 Cooper, as you were, let the man speak. What was made public about the event horizon, that she was a deep space research vessel, that her reactor went critical, and that the ship blew up? None of that is true. The event horizon is the culmination of a secret government project to create a spacecraft capable of faster-than-light flight. I don't, excuse me. You see, you can't actually do that. The law of relativity prohibits faster-than-light travel. Relativity, yes, we can't break the law of relativity. We can go around it. The ship doesn't really go faster than light. What it does is it creates a dimensional gateway that allows it to jump instantaneously from one point of the universe to another light years away. How? Well, it's, it's difficult to, it's all math. Try us, Doctor. Right, well, uh, using Maiman's terms, use a rotating magnetic field to focus a narrow beam of gravitons. These, in turn, fold space-time consistent with veil tensor dynamics until the space-time curvature becomes infinitely large and you produce a singularity. Now, a singularity... Layman's terms. Well, fuck layman's terms. Do you speak English? Um... Imagine for a minute that this piece of paper... No, excuse me. Uh, that's Vanessa, and that's mine. Uh, attractive piece of paper represents space-time, and you want to get from point A here oh. to point B there. Now, what's the shortest distance between two points? A straight line. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. The shortest distance between two points is zero, and that's what the gateway does. It folds space so that point A and point B coexist in the same space and time. When the spacecraft passes through the gateway, space returns to normal. It's called a gravity drive. How do you know all this? I built it. Well, I can see why they sent you. So if the ship didn't blow up, then what happened? Well, 